Okay, before you play a match, you make a couple of selections. Sure. You choose your hero, and you choose a power. Mm. And we're now just going to walk through a little bit of information on each, starting yeah. with heroes. Yeah. So when you select a hero, uh, there's a number of different playable characters, each of which has their own unique abilities or a unique sense of mo you know, mobility, locomotion. Um, as mentioned before, you know we at Toys for Bob love creating playable characters, and so it's been an absolute joy kind of coming up with the move sets for these characters mm -hmm. and different ways to play. But as we've been playing the game, you know, as we've been figuring out the roles and, and you know different ways of playing the game, what we found is naturally occurring through this play, we found what is kind of our unique you know, genre of game, the strategic multiplayer platformers, kind of defining three roles, which are scorer, blocker, and booster. Now, these roles represent kind of the activities that these characters are best suited for. You know, scorers are really great at going around the map, collecting the wumpa, and banking it. Blockers, really great at, you know, defense, you know, blocking enemies from getting to their own bank, or even going out and knocking the wumpa out of other players. Uh, and then the boosters really suited for collecting relics to activate relic stations, as well as turning the gem pads and, you know, collecting those boost potentials for the team. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we've seen kind of rise up, and each of our characters falls into one of these three roles. Now, we kind of call these soft roles because there's nothing stopping a scorer from capturing gem pads. There's mm -hmm. nothing stopping a booster from, you know, collecting a weapon and banking it. It's just really what kind of defines them and what they're really great at. And also, you know, when you choose a team and you're selecting your characters, you know, you don't have to have a team with, you know, two scores, one blocker, and one booster. How many dingo if, dolls can you have on a team, Luke? If you wanted to say, oops, all dingoes, <laughs> you could do that and have an entire team of four dingo blockers. Love it. And, you know, make a valiant effort at trying to, to win a match. Maybe that's a good strategy. Maybe. We We're not going to tell you. You'll find out, though. That's right. Um, and so these are the different kind of characters, the character roles that you can play as. Um, and they pair up really well with these additional powers. Let's hear about them, Dan. Oh, yes. So we talked about the selection you make before you go into a match. Two picks, the hero and a power. Mm. So let's look at powers. Here are three of the uh, three example powers here that we have for you. Firstly, on the left, we have the healing fridge. Oh, uh, yes. Basking in the glow of an open fridge door. <laughs> really, there's nothing a sandwich can't solve. You're this is me. honestly one of my favorite powers. You know, someone on the team put this in, and it's like, what is our, you know, area of effect healing? We want a healing item? zone. Uh, yes, a it's fridge. a fridge. It's the most comforting thing. Sold. And, uh, done. And so the way the healing fridge works is you place it in the level. You can be healed by it. Any of your teammates that get close to it can be healed by it. And of course. If you come across a healing fridge that's been placed by the red team, you want to be attacking it and destroying it. <sighs> Saddest thing to see a fridge fall. <laughs> Second power, Wumpa Stash. Um, the way the Wumpa Stash works is when you activate the Wumpa Stash, a large glowing Wumpa appears over your head. It's basically a beacon or a target on your back. You're placing a target over your yeah, head. Yeah. And then the, what you have to do is, if you, after you've activated it, is stay alive. So you want to stay alive for maybe around 30 seconds. It will fill. And once it's full, it's worth 100, and now you can drop that off at your bank. And that's in addition to any Wumpa that you're already carrying. And any boost that you have going from the gem pads. Exactly. So basically when I'm playing, if I see someone with a Wumpa stash stop glowing, them. I am going to stop them. Exactly. Yep. It's, it's a really fun and really simple power. And then the third one we're looking at here is the Gasmoxian Guard. You know, a big blue boy. It, what he does is pretty clear by what he looks like. He's a guard that you can drop anywhere in the map. Yep. And he's going to guard that area for a period of time, make it hard for the enemy team to get to that location. So it might be you want to drop it on their bank, maybe you want to drop it on a relic station, yeah. there's some gem pads, a choke point. Yeah. Many things can work. Yeah, and one of the things that we found as we've been playing the game is that, again, you can equip these powers with any hero. And so when you start a match, you're choosing a hero, you're choosing a power, and it really allows you to kind of find a unique combinatorial play style that defines you. That's a good word. I love it. And so, you know, if you want to be a blocker like Dingo using the Gaz Moxie and Guard to really play bank defense, you can do that. Or, you know, if you're really focused on mobility and you're trying to actually get around the map, yep. maybe you're also kind of doing enemy avoidance. Maybe a Wumpa Stash is a really great choice for you when you're playing as, say, Tana.